Do you think it's pretty fucked up that Baby Yoda ate those frog ladies? Yes, eggs? yes, it was. <laughs> you re- I was, I was, I was watching the episode. I was like, that's like the last of this chick's like family line. Yes, and Baby Yoda just just nom nom nom, yeah, numbing them. And like, it wasn't just one; it was multiple. <laughs> it was multiple. It was at least four, like on screen that we see. Yeah, we don't know off screen how many he ate. Does that make Frog Lady a bad mom? I mean, I must say no, because she was totally, like, about to fight and die. For those eggs. Yeah, like them spider things and shit. She even pulled out, like, a little blaster. She's like, pew. She did. That's yeah. right. She's smart, too. Yeah. So, that, so these things are intelligent, or they grow up to become intelligent. Yeah, she rewired that, that robot, that bot. Yeah, I yeah. thought that was a really cool scene, because it shows, like, she's not, like, helpless and defenseless. Yeah. You know, she can take care of herself and provide for herself. She just needed transportation. Like, that was the only thing she needed yeah. for Mando. She knows how to find a hot spring. There's a scene where it looked like she was about to fall over and die. But she starts hopping away. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, no, she knows what she's doing. She knows how to take care of herself. I think on the other side, I think Baby Yoda also has, like, the cognitive ability at that point to know what he's doing is fucked up. Like, I've been told not to eat these eggs, but they're good. Okay. So here's my thing. I think they've done a poor job illustrating how old mentally Baby Yoda is supposed to be. Yeah. Because he's 50 years old officially, but he's still a baby. Yeah. So I've seen like online discord. Everyone's been complaining when that episode came out, like whether or not Baby Yoda should be canceled or... (laughs) You know what I mean? Like, And I'm sure the, the people having fun and exaggerating... But it, it is interesting to talk about because they play it off like a joke. Yeah. Like, it's just a funny haha thing. But it, it's kind of really dark because I was rooting for Frog Lady that whole episode. So to watch her kids be eaten by this gremlin monster was is a little terrifying from, like, her perspective. But so in last week's episode, we saw that he doesn't understand the difference between red and blue when Mando oh, was trying. Oh, the wiring. Yeah, the wiring. So if he doesn't understand colors, then I don't know if he can understand that he shouldn't put some things in his mouth. Okay, well, I I, I disagree. I think there's a big cognitive leap between, hey, these two different color wires, plug this one in where this one was and that one in where that one was, and don't do that. My thing comes down to he's a he is a baby. He's a what baby doesn't put everything in their mouth? Like, every baby in the history of ever puts shit they're not supposed to put in their mouth in their mouth. I've swallowed a quarter when I was a baby. My brother can tell you the story. It wasn't fun. He changed my diapers. I ate a lot of change. (laughs) So, you just... Side story. Do you know those little things that you used to get from, like, the quarter machines where you throw them against the wall, like the little slappy hands? Yeah. There used to be some that were, like, stick figure people. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah, I totally ate one of those. Damn. Because I thought it would make me Spider-Man. Did it? No. You're not Spider-Man? No. This whole time I thought you were Spider-Man. I know, it's fucked up, right? <laughs> Stupid. So, on the one hand, I did think the first time it was funny. It's like, alright, he shouldn't do that. Second time it's like, this is getting less and less funny. So the final shot where he looks and then he eats the egg still, it's like, I don't know how I feel about this. Yeah. I feel very conflicted. I feel like... Like, I don't know. I feel like Baby Yoda knew what he was doing was wrong. Because I feel like as, like, the more A's he ate, the more he was doing it, like, sneakily. Yeah. But it's been established that he likes eating frog. So I feel like this was the perfect storm. It was like the calamari, you know, of of, of frog lady eggs for him. Because he eats a whole frog in the first season. Mm -hmm. And I feel like even in the following episode, when they start to hatch, he's looking at that thing. And there's no way you can convince me he's not thinking damn, I want to eat that right now. So I don't know if he really realizes what's going on. He's a baby. He's a baby. He's a baby. Babies put shit in their mouth. If anything, I feel like it's it's on the fault of Mandalorian. Yeah, he said, don't do that. But it's like, he didn't really reprimand Baby Yoda for his behavior. You know what I mean? If, if you were taking a passenger and like your niece, if she was still a baby, started eating the passenger's shit... I feel like you'd you'd yell at her a little more strongly. Yeah, but also I feel like Mando's a little scared of Baby Yoda. Why? Oh, he does have the Force. Yeah, 
I feel like this is like the Mando's only encounter ever with the Force. Yeah. And I mean, like, from like a regular person, you've like heard all these stories about the Force, but then you actually see like a fucking baby like do some crazy shit like that. Yeah. You're like, that baby's fucking wild. If I saw a baby lift a rhino with its mind, yeah, I'd be pretty, I'd be pretty scared of it. Yeah. I'd be like, this baby could crush me with its own thoughts. <laughs> Maybe he could eat whatever he wants to eat. I don't know. Maybe I should kill this baby. <laughs> Maybe I'm. Maybe it's me. I'm the problem. Maybe I'm the baby. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like uh, this season's been trying to show us how their bond has been progressing and how yeah. fatherly Mando has become. So I feel like that episode could have done a better job of portraying Mando as being more strict and more fatherly, or it was purposefully trying to show us how poor of a parent he actually is, how he's learning as he goes to become more fatherly. All right, final thoughts. Do you think Baby Yoda is good or bad? Oh, see, I I hope they tease that he does some dark side stuff. Because we see in the first season he chokes out that girl when they're having a playful arm wrestling match. Mm -hmm. So I think that that's always fun to tease. Because, I mean, in our minds, we only know, like, Yoda. And Yoda was this wise old sage. Yeah. So... I think we see a cute little old baby and our minds instinctively go, oh, well, he must be good. So I think it would be interesting to say, oh, well, no, he can he can do some pretty bad, bad shit. Yeah. So I do think that is interesting. I don't know if they're going to do anything with it. This is Disney and that's their number one selling point right now. You know, Baby Yoda merch is everywhere. So I don't know if they would do that with the character. But I think it'd make for some interesting... Well, when you say TV. it like that, it, like, it, it reminds me of that like old saying... Where it's like, what's better, to be born good or to overcome evil and then become good? Nature versus nurture. You know, what if like we see... Because, we, yeah, like you said, we all think Baby Yoda's good. But what if he does like some like horrible like Sifts type shit? Yeah. But he chooses good because of the Mando. Well, what's interesting is because Mando has a shady past himself. Yeah. In the first episode of the second season, he takes him to a wrestling match where there's a shootout. And the guy's like, you really want to do this in front of the kid? Yeah, he's seen worse. Yeah. So he's seen some fucked up shit. Are you okay with like discussing more spoilers about the Mando? Yeah. I'm okay. okay. The shit when they brought up, like uh, when they meet the other Mandos. Yeah. And they're like, oh, you're part of like that sect, that cult. Yes. That shit got me like, I was like, oh. So with Mandalorian being being raised by these people, I don't know how, like how much of that is going to seep into Baby Yoda's upbringing. Mm. Even outside of being raised by like a crazy, overly zealous cult. On top of that, he grew up to join a bounty hunters guild and is known as like to be a deadly hunter who kills people as a profession. Yeah. So how is that going to affect Baby Yoda? I don't know. I guess we'll see. He's a baby. Baby Yoda's aight. He's he's aight. I just I wish they would let us know how old he is mentally. Physically, he's fifty years old, but like really, where is he? Give me give me a, a a chart with like dog years, but 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 with Yoda years, so that I know relatively speaking where he is mentally, so that I, we we can have a better understanding of of where he is and if he is actively making conscious decisions to eat sentient creatures mm. or not. Because in this episode, the one that you haven't seen, chapter 13, we learn a little bit more about him and his past. Mm. And I just thought, okay, well, then is he more aware of shit than he should be or not? Because now I'm, I'm more confused than before when, you, when I knew nothing about his past. So I don't know. I, I feel like they've done a poor job with portraying his actual age. So I hope that they, they fix that in the future. I gotcha. But he shouldn't be canceled. No. You know those, they're, they're selling the macaroons that he ate in the last episode? They're like 50 bucks. Stop. It's Disney. What did you expect? Ah, you're right. <laughs> you're what, right. You're did right. you expect anything less no. than $50 for macaroons? No. Would you pay $50 to eat a macaroon? No. No, I wouldn't either. Even as a hardcore Star Wars fan. Okay. Does Baby Yoda make you want to have a baby? Definitely not. Every time my girlfriend sees Baby Yoda, her ovaries explode. She goes, you don't want one of those? I'm like... He's a green alien creature. We she goes, she goes no, like a baby. I'm like, no. No, I'm no, good. Nah. Maybe one day. No. No. <laughs> He's aight. He's aight. Baby was aight. Just stop eating live things.
Or, or do whatever you want. It's fictional. It's it, fake. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. None of it matters. <laughs> None of it matters. Even if it was real life, it wouldn't matter. Darth Vader committed mass genocide, killed billions of people, or at least was complicit with killing billions of people, slaughtered children. He slaughtered the children in the prequels. The children, and he was able to become a force ghost as like a good guy because he redeemed himself because he threw the emperor down a shaft. Is that really fair? I know I cut all these kids in half, but... I made the right choice in the end. He, he he went to force heaven because like, after all of that, that's not cool. R.I.P. Those frog eggs. R.I.P. In peace. R.I.P. In peace.